All right, we have another couple of games here. This is Metalisk and the Pro versus Micro Jackson on Grezvan. Some 1v2 action. Just played a few 1v2s myself. Got smacked a couple of games. Got a few dubs. Well, no. I think I got that wrong. I think I got smacked a few games, got a couple of dubs. That's besides the point. They got Protoss. Did they pick Protoss? I can't remember. We have a PVT. Now, myself, I played many PVTs against this guy. I'm not going to try to get too crazy looking into what he might do. Let's just see what he does, and let's see if I have ever seen it before. Metalisk in the pro, showing some disrespect at the start of the game, not saying GLHF back to Micro Jackson, disregarding the sportsmanship. They mean business. Typical scouting path. I apologize, I have to eat like dying. Uh, I'm not sorry. How do we take a look at Micro's base? He's got two gases, so this is pretty much a standard modern Terran opening against Proto. Micro has been favoring that high ground CC. Looks like we've got Poo on macro. Interesting. Ups and Nexus. Got that pylon very early. Not quite sure what build we saw on the pro side. I was not paying close enough attention. Not sure this is a build I've seen before, but he's got all the pieces. Looking at an adept chrono. Gonna start up work gate. Alright. What do we find? Got the factory on the way, so it's not a fast CC at all. It's actually the fast factory. High ground CC in the back. It looks like micro. What is he going to do with these buildings? Starts up a mine. He's going to start up a starport. We have a mine drop. Start with reactor. Reaper must have picked off a kill and I missed it. Reaper's going to go back in for another. Yikes. Rock is responding. He's going to dive in the main. Oh no. That's two. Very nice Reaper here, and he's going to see the Twilight just in time. Great Reaper for Micro Jackson. In typical fashion, the CC lifts over to the natural. Had a little bit of an adept blocking it, but there's six marines. They don't care. Those of you has got real, real friendly with each other for a second. No. 
I'll give the adept credit. It did block that CC for a few seconds, but I'm not sure it was worth her life. These mines just going straight across. Looks like Pooh does have a nice perimeter of stalkers set up to defend against that. And I like this build out of micro. Very principled build. Just tank Raven. Simple, strong PVT build. Probably going to go for a 3 one, one setup. Let's see if he goes for a heavy 2 base pressure or if he's going to be going for that 3rd CC sooner rather than later. Medivac is flying into 3 Stalkers. It responds just in time. This is a very solid response. He does get one mine into the Medivac to drop in the main. You see a reaction on that and he gets a Stalker. Oh, that's very nice. Stalker and a probe and... Mine drop has almost bought itself into an alright position. Hopefully this medevac for Micro Jackson's sake can uh, get the safety. He's going to send the Raven across to harass as well. And he's going to be very cautious. He sets the route. Doesn't want that getting sniped for no reason in the middle of the map. Who's pushing out with the stalkers right now? How is Pooh going to do with these blink stalkers? He might head for the main and that could be a real problem. Don't know if he can blink on that tank. He probably can, actually. The main is so vulnerable for Micro Jackson here. Eleven stalkers. Oh, that's a terrible blink by Pooh. Oh, no. That's a terrible blink by Meta. I mean, not Pooh. Sorry, Pooh. But, and also, sorry, Meta. Okay, he gets the stalkers in, though, and he's getting a good trade against these marines. Where is the tank support? The tank finally arrives, but oh no, it's the only one that's there. Ooh, Metalus saves the trade. He gets a decent one. He loses a few stalkers on the way out, though. Really scrappy game here. But Metalus is able to find some damage. Aaron bled out a bit more. Gosh, I feel so bad. Pooh, I'm sorry. I was not trying to... Well, I was, but I thought it... Listen. <laughs> Those stalkers should have all gotten in the base in one blink. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's move on. Great denial of the raven. It's just gonna kill that raven, man. Starting to look really nice for the Protoss this game. Micro Jackson has made his intentions very clear. The fourth and fifth racks are already building reactor tech lab. It's gonna be a giant, giant bio push. And oh, this is so psychotic. He's gonna get a few more units. Man, oh man, and he gets out. And I have one backdoor concern. Where is the splash? Okay. Gonna be a Colossus. Colossus can be a little bit dicey. Depends on the Marauders and the tanks. If they land the right shots at the right time, that Colossus goes absolutely down the drain in value. If you don't have Colossus and you've invested into all of that tech, you're not holding off a two base ball in. That's basically what we see right now. Micro needs to keep that tank alive. Doesn't manage it, and that tank was crucial to this push. I think it's going to be enough zealots by the time he arrives. These are great pokes by Metalisk here. Metalisk is really doing a nice job messing with this army on the attack. He picked off a tank. He put one at half health. Look at that swallow zealots. Gets the turn here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! What did I just watch? That completely turns the game. Oh, what are you? Are you serious? He just shoots his own zealots and he leaves the game in rage. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> what have I just witnessed on Grisvon Ellie? Oh my goodness. And in the 
in the nick of time the disruptors they've suicided themselves oh it's protoss mutiny oh that utterly hurt my soul to witness and Micro Jackson is gonna walk in off the stand by <laughs> Oh. Oh my goodness. That was not safe for human eyes. Christ almighty. Let's get some post game thoughts from the players. So, uh, Micro Jackson, any live reaction to that game? Uh, I mean, the game was pretty much over from the get go. Uh, uh, played out kind of as expected. Killed all their zealots with my disruptor. And then, <laughs> yeah. Really well done, yeah. Yeah. This is why I don't like playing with disruptors. <laughs> Exactly why. <laughs> Metalisk, a little bit sad about the disruptor. <laughs> Alright, game game two. Game number two. Okay, next time, next time, Colossus. Alright, chill it, Chef. Going into Dragon Scales, game two. Once again, I didn't actually check what race they picked. Protoss. Second PvP. Run that back. And I need to collect myself after that last game. Christ almighty. That was something to witness. That game was completely over. Micro was about to lose all of his units. And like, okay, there, I mean, it was going to go on, but like, Protoss had such an edge there. And I just watched like 10 Zealots die to a, an own Disruptor Ball. <sighs> I mean, I'm so glad I got that on video. That's all I can say. That's, uh, that's just an instant classic, if you ask me. Anyways, on to this game. Where is this SCV headed for Micro Jackson, man? It might be a second proxy. Ooh, Micro Jackson pulling out something cheeky in game two. Barracks. Gonna be a factory? What am I looking at? Is this just a hider? He's gonna run in and make a bunker. Micro Jackson really tr tricking me here. I think it's a factory. Yeah. Proxy factory. Wow. What is this? Is he gonna go cyclone? Oh, you sicko, Micro. Don't do it to him like that. Does he have Cyclone on his brain? And I usually trash the Cyclone. I call it one of the worst units in the game. I scoff, but in this position? Oh my. The Stalker is not going to chase that Adept down. It's going to be a juicy target for a Cyclone lock on. He's going to need to Chrono another Stalker. And he does it. Great, great decision making out of the macro player. You have a medalist on macro this game. Pool on micro. They've switched roles. 
Last game, I think Pooh gave Metalisk some pretty nice units, but Metalisk, unfortunately, got some damage done with the Stalkers, but at the very last moment when it counted, wasn't able to pull those Zelts away, and it's okay. I know how that happens. I've done it once or twice myself. But in that game, in that moment, that was something to take in. In an instant, turning the outcome of the game. Metalisk wishes he could have that one back. That moment is not a reflection of Metalisk's micro. He needs more practice with the Disruptor. To be honest, most players that don't play Protoss need more practice with the Disruptor. They don't put the respect on the Disruptor's name. And, I, you know, I, I get it, okay? You click one button, boom goes their army. Listen, I get it, but, you know... That game, there was way more disruptors killing Protoss units than enemy Terran units, and oh my god, these stalkers just bulldozed those marines. Micro trying to play without a bunker, and what am I looking at right now? He's trying to go hellion with the proxy, opting not for a cyclone at all, and all of a sudden he's just getting sieged at his natural, he's gonna have to cancel this base, there's no way. This looks really, really, really bad for Micro. I was just having so many dreams about the Cyclone, I got all caught up, and what have I just seen happen? Okay, new CC is being built in the main. Gonna wait for a couple Hellions. This is getting sensed. He's supply blocked, oh. That's a tough one, but gotta remember guys, Microjax is playing 1v2. The heat is on, and Look, this is how it happens. When Pooh gets to just sit here, just pull your hair out in one stalker poke at a time. It's just like... I, I, I've I been in this spot myself. So I have sympathy for the 1v2. And uh, yeah, Micro needs a lot of sympathy now. This game is all but over. It's absolutely done. Proxy Hellions, I I kind of like the idea, but I like the idea of a Cyclone so much more. A, some sort of all-in, I mean, I just don't think that this Proxy Hellion was a very good tactic this game. Or any game where two Stalkers are getting caught on. Great game by the Protoss team there. I really like that response. Micro feeling the heat of the 1v2 that game. All right, this is game three of the best of three. Is it a best of three or a best of five? Best of infinity, all right. Fair enough. Probably how everybody feels. Based, all right, good luck. Game three, more for blood. Yet again, failed to check the race, but I'm going to assume it was Protoss. And I was wrong, it's Zerg. So we have a TVZ the same. We have Micro. 
has an easier or a tougher time with the 1v2. I gotta say, he's been doing okay. I think that last game, he just had a hard time with the build order. That build order ended up really costing him, and he tried to get away without a bunker. I mean, three stalkers bulldoze his natural. That is just an utter disaster. Realize I put my Belvita biscuit thing in front of the mic. I mean, you have a proxy two racks out of Micro Jackson. No gas. It's going to be Marines, and he's going to build a third. This is going to be heavy Marine pressure. Oh, man. Goes up to 14 SCVs. First Marine on the way. Overlord goes the opposite direction. He's not going to see the barracks until the... Those units are going to show up unannounced. Let's see how the micro looks out of micro. A name like that, you better be able to proxy racks. Micro is going to try to just get a... Why did I say that? Jeez, I got destroyed my voice. I was so excited with those games earlier. I said Micro's name in the most unconvincing way. But anyways, with a name like that, the guy knows how to Micro some Marines and he's hitting this hatch. Like, what is going to respond to this right now? Are those drones coming? Is he just going to abandon the natural? Two bunkers are up. What is happening, guys? Where is the response? Roaches are going up in the main. Oh, no. Micro has just totally overrun this natural, man. Yeah. I mean, that one's just dead on the spot. Caught them lacking. What is there to say? Micro takes the best of three. Micro pulling the trigger on a risky opener, but he's putting them in check. I love to see it. Queen. Queen? I was trying to say quick and clean, and I said queen. Clean and easy dub. Can you explain your uh, build order decision making, Micro, for that last game? I didn't record the interview, rip. We discussed this previously, and we agreed that the Overlord should stay there. Mm, I don't know if it, I agreed to I don't know, that on that map, I don't think But I definitely great. shouldn't have moved it right when it did today. What was the right response on that map? I don't know what the response is, but that's all I've got, drone pull. Well, there's a few options. Drone but pull yeah. is one of them. What else yeah, is there? Well, gonna have to find that one out on your own. You guys done for now? Take some notes from Reaper. I usually draw and pull. I don't like the spine method. I don't think that's reliable. I don't like the spine response. The hatch will die if they focus fire it. Some do a ravage or retake, but. 
really do that unless I'm pushed. Ravager retake, we lose the hatch, and he's ahead because he has a base. Yeah, that's why I don't like. I just draw and pull. It's just about the Overlord seeing. Alright, run that back. Wait, what? Series isn't Plus over. Three. Are you resigning from the series, having taken your victory? I think the trouble needs to play a series now. I have to play. I just played a series before you got here. Yeah, I can well, just play with you guys. Just wrap up the series. I'll play. We play two v two. All right, let's do it. All right, GGs. Yeah, wrap up.